My name is Kale. I come from a universe parallel to yours. My world needs your help. You're the only one who can save us. I succeeded in opening a breach between my world and yours. Through your computer, you can enter our world and help us. But in order to do this, you must transfer your soul into my body. Do you accept? Press any key to say yes. But hurry! There isn't much time. Hello. Hello, Kale. It's me. Kale. Leb. Caleb. Artist Caleb. Artist Caleb. Hey, everybody. It's Artist Caleb. And, uh, this is Omicron. No man's soul. But we haven't much time, so... Yes. Oh, yes, yes, of course I accept. Dude, I knew I could count on you. Now, you must concentrate. Concentrating. Uh... Something's supposed to happen. You okay? You've done it. Now your soul occupies my body. This is the last time that we'll be able to speak together. Once you cross the breach, you'll be on your own. I will take over my body when you leave the game and hold your place for you until you return. Thank you, Kale. I understand. That's it. You're ready. But remember, once you cross the breach, you're on your own. There's no saving and going back if you get into trouble. You are entering a real world. If you make mistakes, you'll just have to accept the consequences. Now, listen carefully. To begin your investigation, go first to my apartment. There's no more time to talk. You must cross the breach before it closes. Oh, and one more thing. Be careful with my body. It's the only one I've got. I will. I'll take good care of it. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you for standing over me and shouting. I feel much better now. Excellent. Good thing that thing was there. Otherwise I might have been hurt. So, where am I? We're in Omicron, the Nomad Soul. A game I've been waiting to jump back into and play again. After all these years, it's been a very long time. Uh, <clears throat> back, back, way back in, uh, way back in the day, when I first got this game, I was shocked and astounded by how unbelievable it was, how amazing it was. <laughs> Actually, this is kind of retarded, but I was even a little hesitant to start it up because of that nonsense in the beginning, you know, where they break the third wall or fourth wall or whatever it's called, and, you know, and the, and Kale says, you know, this isn't a game. You, you, you in the real land, video warrior, occupy my body with your soul. I was like, I don't know about this. And, uh, but, uh, anyway, the game, which is finally on good old games, has some serious problems. And a lot of people are having problems running it. But, uh, there are ways that you can get it to, to run. Ways, there are ways, many ways. Um, <clears throat> and it, it does have some graphic problems, uh, which I'll show you in just a second here. But, first, 
We've got a David Bowie song coming up, which I'm not going to include, by the way, in this video because just in case there are some copyright problems, I don't, I don't want to lose any videos. So, just any second now. So, all right, just really briefly, a uh, couple of the issues that players are going to have when they jump into this game right now, anyway, before any sort of official patch is released or whatever. Um, they're they're kind of minor. Uh, some people are going to experience big problems. You can see up in the sky right now, we've got 16-bit colors. But this switches. I'll show you. It's very strange. Looky here, I ran back here and whoa, 32 bit sky, smooth. Everything looks excellent. Okay, keep your eye on the sky. Keep your eye on the sky and watch this. Ready? It's gonna switch to 16 bit. There it goes. Did you see it? So, anyway. That'll happen just kind of randomly in certain areas. I think it happens in this area because of the David Bowie song. Here's another issue. I swear I'm not going to dwell on this, and you can skip ahead of this if you want. But uh, let's take a look at our clipping distance. All right. Right now I've got it on medium. If I put it on very far, check it out. You see the lights? Okay. Now it's the little shiny bits on the lights. They will disappear. Or flicker. When you get your clipping distance very far. So right now they're not even showing up for me. However, okay, we go to a far clipping distance. Oh, whoops. Okay, far. Alright, yes. There we go, we get them back. But they will also flicker and disappear on occasion. See? There we go. See the flickering? There's the little shiny marks on the lights. The, the uh, sprites, they're called. So that's a problem. And for me, it's just kind of a... It's a problem that's a bit too big for me, because I'm really picky about that kind of stuff. Medium, on the other hand, we won't typically have any... Oh, whoops. Did it stick? Yeah, it did. Okay. Um... We won't typically have any option, or, uh, uh pro okay, um, okay, on, uh, medium we won't have any problems with the sprites. Okay, unless, of course, you enter into a place, like we can go in here. Hey, everybody! How's it going? Just looking around. Go back outside. It might not do it for us now, but sometimes it'll reset the clipping distance a little bit. And you can see the flickering uh, sprites again. So, anyway, that's why we're keeping it on medium. Always look both ways before crossing the street. Look out! Get out of my way! Get out! Something we'll talk about in just a little bit, but they also use environment maps in this game. And it was the first time that I'd ever gotten to see anything like that. Yet another thing that blew my mind. There must be some way to get up to Kale's apartment. There is. Going up! Check it out. Pretty swank, huh? Doesn't get much nicer than this. It's got a little mosh.
mosh pit over here. Pretty doggone nice. So, let's find out what this is all about. <laughs> 